Hello everyone, I'm Lockhart QT, and this is going to be a very unscripted video today talking about the new Borderlands movie. Now, if you don't know me, I'm a massive Borderlands fan. I've been playing since the very first game, and I've played and completed and 100%ed every single game since, multiple times. In some cases, I think I've completed Borderlands 2 like 10 or 12 times, to be honest, honestly. And looking at the movie that has just come out, so if you guys don't know, they've just released the teaser for the trailer that is coming out later today, so I'll probably have two Borderlands movie videos coming out today. And it has caused some controversy, massive controversy with the actual casting and the plot and all of the background, the development stuff of the actual movie. So let's get right into it. So if you haven't seen the teaser, I'm going to have a link in the description. I don't want to upload it due to copyright reasons on the channel. This video will most likely get taken down. But I will have images on screen sort of going throughout uh, showing these different characters and whatnot. And first off, we have Kate Blanchett as Lilith. This is the one that people are talking about. Now, when they first announced they were doing a Borderlands movie years and years and years ago, I think it was like 2015 they for the first time it was announced. And there's been loads of rumours and people confirmed and deconfirmed in casting. And the obviously big one that was announced first was Kevin Hart as Roland. Now for me, this is a, another controversial one, but there are two very controversial ones that I want to talk about in this video. First off is Kate Blanchett. If you don't know who she is, she's an enormous actress who's gone on in various different films that I could spend hours talking about. I'd say probably her most iconic role or one of them is obviously Lady Gladriel from Lord of the Rings and as well as The Hobbit. And I've got to be honest, she's very beautiful, she is an amazing actress, and you know, I wish her all the best. However, in my opinion at least, and many other people, she is miscast for this film. But she's not the only one, there's also Jamie Lee Curtis, another really famous actress, who plays Dr. Patricia Tannis. Both characters in the actual games are quite young looking, and in, you know, <laughs> as hard as this is to talk about, both actresses here are in their 50s and above and a lot of people are making the joke of saying what where are they hiring these people you know the retirement home sort of thing but and again this is no disrespect to the actresses at all i believe that both are amazing actresses especially kate i really love kate in, in sort of comparison to the two and it's just a very strange casting it's Again, the, the movie's not come out yet, and the, the full trailer hasn't even come out as I'm recording this, so obviously we've got to reserve judgement a bit there, but in terms of what we've seen so far in the poster, and the images, and the footage we've seen so far, it just looks really weird and bizarre. So Lilith in the games, I believe, is mid-twenties. I believe she's 26, 27 during the events of Borderlands 1. And then she goes into her 30s with Borderlands 3. And Tannis, I believe, is in her 30s. Again, I'll have it on screen right now, their exact ages. So for me, having an actress in their 50s and above, you know, when their natural hair colour is white, is very odd. Now, I think out of the two, Jamie Lee Curtis as Dr. Tannis is a bit more, I, I, I guess I can see that happening a bit more. Like I'm a bit more understanding of that because if you don't know, if you haven't played the games, uh, Dr. Patricia Tannis is sort of a side character who helps the crew in Borderlands 1, 2, 3, as well as I believe she's in um, Tales from the Borderlands as well as the pre-sequel again i haven't played those two games in a while so i'd have to sort of go back to confirm that but dr tannis is a very smart character she's a researcher she's an archaeologist she's a scientist she's basically a bit of everything she's a academic at heart so having an older character play that role i think makes a bit more sense but lilith is a really weird one so lilith is a badass but Kate Blanchett is not Lilith. It just doesn't make any sense in any universe, and I cannot believe that the studio making this as well as Gearbox sort of allowed this casting. It's just a really weird one. As a massive fan of Borderlands, again, watching this is just really weird for both of them playing their respective characters. Again, we, we haven't seen the movie yet, and I'll probably do a review on the channel when it comes out, and they could both be spectacular, but... 
yeah, it's just a really weird casting. And next up, talking about Kevin Hart. So Kevin Hart, if you don't know, is playing Roland. Now, if you don't know who Roland is and haven't played Borderlands, Roland is a he's the soldier archetype in the first game. Uh, his sort of main skill, his character tree, revolves around a deployable turret that he can deploy out. Roland is a super serious soldier who doesn't crack any humor he doesn't really make any jokes he's very serious and sticks to the mission that's his whole character he is a very he doesn't really show a lot of emotion he is a very stuck with the mission follows the mission to the end and with board as the series goes on that is in borderlands 2 he shows a bit more emotion and obviously his uh, scenes in the pre-sequel as well shows a bit more emotion whereas Borderlands 1 he's pretty monotone he's pretty you know your average soldier that's you know what his character archetype was in the first game and Kevin Hart is someone who's very bubbly very all over the place he's got a sort of hyperactive attitude he's a brilliant comedian he's really funny so having someone like Kevin Hart cast as Roland is also another really weird casting that for me doesn't really make sense again we're gonna have to wait and see what happens at the trailer and what happens at the actual movie because to be fair kevin hart could actually be playing a serious roland and i do think he could pull it off but as it stands with you know his career history and everything i just can't see kevin hart pulling off something like a character of roland for example also more controversy so i've done my research for this video i've looked at sort of the cast again it may be announced today in today's trailer i don't know but so far we don't have characters for brick or mordecai who if you don't know in the first borderlands game the main characters were lilith roland brick and mordecai they were the main four characters and they go on to form and they basically start off as strangers and then go off to be family they are best friends they are you know a bit more than that i'd argue and even when certain characters die out of the group they they stick together and they're family and for me not having brick and mordecai in this movie is again just really odd but again we'll just have to wait and see on that so next up another weird casting choice so obviously in hollywood we see it all the time where people are you know characters from the source material their races and genders are swapped i think in some cases it really works in some cases it doesn't and i'll sort of go on to that a, a bit more later but if you don't know the character of uh general Knox is actually going to be in this film which is awesome if you don't know Knox is a uh, character who is sort of one of the main villains of the dlc and general Knox is quite a big character in borderlands he's even referenced quite a few times in the pre-sequel in borderlands 2 and I, I believe borderlands 3 as well and it's just an overall cool character and who did they get to play this character that i'm showing you on screen but an actress by the name of janina gavanka again i'm really sorry if i mi miss uh, sort of pronunciated that name or well, absolute butchered the pronunciation i'm really sorry i'm really bad at pronouncing things in general to be honest but uh, yeah uh, janine here is Again, another great actress. I more know her as the... She, I think she was the main character from the Battlefront 2 campaign. I thought she did a rather good job there. So again, another beautiful, amazing actress. But in my opinion, has been mistypecast. There is a multitude of... I believe actors and actresses that could have done this role a bit better. I, I believe that they're probably just going to typecast her as, oh, you know, the the badass female who's you know in charge of a load of men like that. I think that is sort of the actor, you know, the the thing that they're going to go for here. And in my opinion, that's just not General Knox. I think a better casting for General Knox would maybe have been someone like I don't know. Um, Josh Brolin maybe who played Cable in Deadpool 2 and Thanos maybe someone like that I, I feel like that would be a better casting as it just is more true to the character and I think video game fans as a whole are very much yeah we're very much stuck in our ways I, again I don't mind people being race swapped or gender swapped if it has meaning if it's just done for the sake of getting a big actor in in my opinion or making a male a female or vice versa it just doesn't work in some cases and here i just i can't see it working but again we'll need to see it in the actual movie so obviously i've talked about a few miscastings or in my opinion actresses and actors that are just not meant for the roles so i thought i'd actually go in and give you a few actors or actresses that I believe could actually fill out these roles a bit better. 
So with my personal castings, I've actually gone with the following. Obviously, if you've got any better suggestions, put them in the comments below, because obviously none of these are going to happen. But for Lilith, I actually went with either Jennifer Lawrence or Scarlett Johansson. Again, two massive actresses who are very, very popular, especially in this day and age, who could very much fill in for Lilith, uh, both looks-wise and you know put them in the costume I feel like they could absolutely do it for Dr Tannis I've actually gone for Florence either that or Amelia Clark I believe sort of one or the other for this would be particularly fine again put them in the costume uh, maybe age them up a little bit that that's completely fine because I do believe Dr Tannis is in her 30s so that would be fine and for Roland I've actually gone for either John David Washington or Winston Duke I, I believe that they could sort of pull off a more serious character a bit better but again we're gonna have to wait and see from Kevin Hart he could absolutely deliver and lastly, the pretty much the entire casting of the film has been released, as well as the release date being August. I don't know if that's going to be delayed or not. We're going to have to wait and see, because if you don't know, this movie has actually gone through development hell. It's gone through several production teams, uh, key members leaving and rejoining and leaving again, as well as directors. So again, we're going to have to wait and see what actually happens. But the uh, just to obviously i've gone over a lot of negative things here so i do actually wanted to go over a few positive castings in my opinion so first off is jack black as claptrap obviously jack black is really funny he's a great voice actor he's a great actor he's a great musician he can probably bring that to the role he recently did a role that i thought he wouldn't be able to do which was bowser in the super mario brothers movie and i think that he did that really well so I actually have faith that Black, I almost said Black Jack then, uh, Jack Black can play Claptrap. I genuinely believe that Jack Black can pull this off. He's very funny and like I said, I, I think he could fit that archetype. To be honest, another actor that I think could have done Claptrap would have been Kevin Hart. I do believe he's been miscast as Roland. I, I think that he actually would have done a decent job as Claptrap, believe it or not. But again, we're just going to have to wait and see. And lastly is the actor for Krieg, who I believe was in Creed uh, 2 and 3. And again, I've got his name on screen. And I, I believe that he is a great casting for Krieg. Hopefully, Krieg either doesn't take the mask off or only takes it off momentarily. Maybe you see it off screen or something like that. Because for me, that is a big part of who Krieg is. You never really see under his mask. I, I believe they, I, I think they show it in Borderlands 3 at one point. I do believe it is in the game's actual model, but for me, that it's kind of like the Master Chief uh, appearance in the Halo TV show, where they actually show Master Chiefs without his helmet off. I believe that was like a huge mistake, and they shouldn't have done that. And it comes, it kind of keeps the mystery there. So I'm hoping they actually do keep Krieg's mask on, but that's just a little nitpick. I actually don't mind either way, to be honest. So anyway, like I said, the Borderlands movie trailer is coming out today. So tell me in the description below, what do you think about all of these castings? Do you believe that these actresses and actors have been miscast? And do you think they'll actually do well? Again, we're going to have to wait and see for when the trailer comes out later today, as well as the actual full movie. But for more Borderlands content and Borderlands movie content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.